Hi, boys and girls. Today, I have a special production of the fairy tale Cinderella, starring some toy actors that Miss Laura had when she was your age. Introducing my little kittles. Here she is, Miss Cinderella. Now, I put her on a little stick here so that I can move her around in our um, our toy production of Cinderella today. Okay, here are, here is our prince. And, you know, Cinderella had two kind of, kind of mean stepsisters. And today they're going to be played by these two trolls. All right. So now we're going to start this production, and I just want to let you know that you're not going to see my head because we want the camera to look down on the production of our show, okay? So without further ado, here we go. Here is the story of Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl named Cinderella. Now, she had two ugly stepsisters. Ah! They were very, very cruel to Cinderella. Did you clean the kitchen? Oh, yes, 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 I did. Did you polish my shoes? Yes, yes, I did. Did you iron my clothes? Yes, yes, I did. And did you make breakfast? Yes, breakfast is ready. Now these evil stepsisters, they made Cinderella do all the hard work. Oh, stepsisters, stepsisters, a letter has arrived from the royal palace. It's for you. Give it to me, give it to me. Oh, and she grabs it right out of her hand. No, no, I want to open it. They rip it out of there. They look and it says, We are invited to the prince's ball at the royal palace. Yay! Oh, I wish that I could go too. Poor Cinderella. Now the night of the ball arrived. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. <laughs> we are going to have a great time at the ball. Yeah, have a great night working, Cinderella. Mm -hmm. Poor Cinderella. Now, after the evil stepsisters had left, suddenly a fairy a fairy came down and appeared, she was a rather large fairy, I must say, appeared to Cinderella. Oh my, who are you? Why, I'm your fairy godmother, beautiful Cinderella. I am here to help you go to the ball tonight. Well, the fairy godmother waved her magic wand which looked mysteriously like a drinkster. And suddenly, Cinderella's rags turned into a beautiful dress. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh! Look it. Wow! It's so beautiful, says Cinderella. And on her feet were sparkling glass slippers. Oh, I just love them. Well, the fairy godmother then turned a pumpkin. I'm not kidding, a pumpkin. Ring! Into a golden coach. Is that something? And some mice into ring. <laughs> Two. 
two horses that can't stand on their own unless they're st stuck on a bottle. Impossible, impossible, says Cinderella. For a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage, impossible. Huh, but it really happened. What a lovely coach and handsome horses. Thank you, fairy godmother. Oh, you are ready now, my dear. Have fun tonight, but be back by midnight or else. Okay, godmother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So off she goes. Now Cinderella is going to the ball in her coach with her pulled by her horses. Off they go. And here is the prince's castle. Wow. At the ball, everyone wondered who the beautiful princess was. Here she, she comes down the stairs. La, 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 la. And there's her, her. There's her horrid stepsisters being mean again. Who is that beautiful princess? Well, I've never seen such a beautiful woman in my life. Oh no, the prince is gonna, is gonna dance with her. This is just not fair. He was meant to dance with me. So here comes the prince. Do, 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 do. Miss, would you like to dance with me? Oh yes, your highness. So the prince danced every dance with her. All night long they dance. Woo! There they are dancing. And suddenly the clock began to strike midnight. Oh, I must go. Thank you for the dance. Thank you. Oh, please stay, please stay. Hey, I don't even know your name. What's your name? Well, Cinderella did not answer and ran back to the coach. So, off she goes. She ran back to the coach with the horses. But you know what, when she ran away, she lost one of her glass slippers. Oh dear, oh dear. And then, just like that, the coach turned back into a pumpkin and the horses turned back into mice. Oh. And then, right before her very eyes, oh, Cinderella's dress turned back into rags. Oh dear. And then she, everything was gone. Oh, my beautiful dress and my sparkling slippers, where are they? Was it just a dream? Well, then she is back at home. She is back at home with her not very nice stepsisters. Whoops. <laughs> Is they're not cooperating. They're not very nice stepsisters. And the prince set out to find the girl that fit the glass slipper. So here he comes. He's probably riding a horse or something, but here he comes with the slipper. Do 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 do. I want every girl in the kingdom to try on this lost glass slipper. I must find my princess. But you know what? The glass slipper didn't fit anyone. The prince then arrived at Cinderella's house. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, 
Good morning, Prince. I'm so happy that you found my slipper. I am the princess you are looking for. No, 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 no. It's my slipper. It's my slipper. I'm the princess you're looking for. Now the ugly sisters tried to fit into the slipper. Let's see. Let me try first. No, no, your feet are much too big. Let me try. Give it to me. But guess what? Their feet were way too big. And then the prince saw Cinderella. Let this girl try. Oh, no, 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 that's only Cinderella. She didn't go to the ball. The slipper won't fit her. But Cinderella sat down and tried on the slipper. Here we go. It fits. It fits. You are the one I have been looking for. The world's going to know your name. So what's your name, ma'am? My name is Cinderella. My name is Cinderella. There's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait, just you wait. <sighs> so now the prince had found his princess and they lived happily ever after. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the moral of that story, what were the points of that story? There's actually three of them. The first one is always be kind no matter what. So Cinderella, she was always nice to her stepsisters, even though they were mean to her. So always be kind, no matter what. And the next one is never stop dreaming because your dream might come true. And the last one is believe in yourself. Yes. So that, my friends, is the story of Cinderella. Thank you for watching. Bye now.